again, the whole line, if you look at the whole line, it is moving off to the east. The S-band radar, as it sweeps around, it's going to update this instantaneously. So what, when we put this into motion, the last frame of the loop is the most current. Okay, so right there, this is just west of Louisville, about ready to hit us at uh, very close to BFW. Let's check out the circulations again. The one near Hearst that Grant was just pointing out, let's check that one real quick. That's going to be down uh, Hearst, Bedford, Euless, and that will likely be some fairly strong winds coming into and right down probably 183 and may even be affecting areas uh, of VFW Airport, might even affect our building right here. Uh, but that is just circulation, <coughs> fairly broad, but some strong winds south of Colleyville, Hearst, Bedford, and Euless, and this will be passing north of Six Flags. So folks in those areas, make sure you're in a safe spot, all right? Make sure you, no, no need to panic, no need to panic. We're not saying that there's a tornado confirmed, but we got power flashes, so you might as well think in terms of, hey, there's enough wind out there to be causing damage, and I want to protect my family and, and get them into a safe spot. The other location now, the circulation has just moved to the east of 377, it's east of Roanoke, headed towards Flower Mound, Grapevine Lake. That area is likely susceptible to some very strong winds in excess of 70, perhaps 80 miles per hour as this line has really kind of pulsed up. It's a little deceiving, about an hour and a half ago, two hours ago, it was rather weak, but as it moved into Dallas-Fort Worth, it really enhanced and is now moving.